everyone, my name is Mara, and today's case is about Echo Lloyd, who is 47 years old when she went missing from Warsaw, Missouri in May of 2020. And just a quick reminder before I get started, that I always try to do the best research and get the most accurate information I can for every single case that I cover. And honestly, while researching this case, there is so much different information out there about different dates, about when she was last seen, so my main goal is to get all this information out there and I hope I have all the accurate dates and all of that, but please just bear with me. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's case. Echo Michelle Lloyd was born on May 23rd of 1972 in Harrisonville, Missouri. She has four kids and three grandchildren and was extremely close to her family. Echo was said to have an infectious smile and laugh. She was full of love and kindness and wanted to make the world happy. She also was known to take in rescue animals and loved art and being outside. In early fall of 2019, Echo and her husband separated. This is when she moved to the real town of Edwards, Missouri. She moved into a house alone that was on 10 acres of property. Echo enjoyed spending much of her time working on different home renovation projects. During this time, Echo became friends with a neighbor whose name is Josh. And unfortunately, it did not take long for him to become very possessive of Echo. At a point, Echo had even went to her daughter Kelsey and vented, telling her that Josh had completely taken over her life. That Josh had went up to her and said that he wanted to borrow her phone, but when she tried to get it back, he refused to return it and he said that he did not want her contacting her kids. Echo even admitted that he had taken control of all of her finances. And poor Echo is just this kind person and doesn't want to have any hard feelings between anybody. So she was not sure how she wanted to break the news to him that she did not want to have this friendship anymore. And Kelsey had told her, please mom, be careful because of course the way Josh was acting was not normal behavior. So I had seen different dates about the last time that Kelsey had actually spoken to her mom, but while I was watching one of her lives on Facebook, she said the last time that she talked to her mom on the phone was May 8th of 2020. Then on May 10th of 2020, it's Mother's Day. Her and her mom are very close and she wanted to spend some time with her on Mother's Day. So Kelsey goes over to her mom's house to visit her and she has flowers. But once she arrives, she sees that Echo's car is not in the driveway and that her house is locked. So she leaves the flowers and a note asking her mom just to call her whenever she gets home on the back porch. But by the next day, May 11th of 2020, Kelsey has still not heard from her mom. So she decides to drive back over to her mom's house. And when she gets there, Echo's car is in the driveway but she does not appear to be home and her house is locked. And over the next few days, Kelsey continues to try to get in contact with her mom. But these calls kept going to voicemail. So on May 15th of 2020, as Kelsey is growing more and more concerned, she drives back to Echo's house again. Echo's car was still locked in the driveway, but when she went to the front door, there still was no response. And I've seen mixed information about this too, um, I've seen one where it said that Kelsey broke in through the front door and another one where it said that she broke in through the window. But either way, she knew she had to get inside to see if maybe her mom was in there and something happened to her. But once she's inside and she's looking around, she cannot find her mom anywhere. She sees on Echo's nightstand is cigarettes and her lighter. Her purse was on the floor with her wallet and inside of the wallet was her ID and cash. But Echo's car keys, pistol, cell phone, and medications were nowhere to be found. Kelsey also noticed that there was a pile of trash, moldy food all over, and a red flag went up because she knew that her mom was never like that. Her mom always had a very clean and tidy house. The air conditioning also was on full blast. So Kelsey instantly had a feeling that someone had been staying there. And as Kelsey's walking back to her car, she sees Echo's phone on the ground. This is when the neighbor Josh came running up and snatched it out of her hand. He then tells Kelsey that Echo had given him her phone. This is when Kelsey asks him about where her mom is. And he said he didn't know and that he had not seen her for days. And many witnesses had said that they had seen Echo on May 10th of 2020 at a Dollar General in Warsaw, Missouri. 
They also found a Walmart receipt that was from May 10th on the floor in Echo's home. It's also said that authorities do have CCTV from both of these locations, but it has never been released to the public, or it's never been made public about if she was in her vehicle or who was with her. Authorities also believe that she did return home at some point after Kelsey had dropped off the flowers. I have seen misinformation about this, and then I was watching one of Kelsey's lives, and the one that I seen, it said that she was the one that reported this, but what she said is it's Josh that went to the authorities and somehow got the date to be changed that the last time that she seen, was seen was May 14th of 2020. So Josh says that he allegedly had seen her this day. It was said Echo was at a gas station trying to purchase a prepaid phone and that she had told the woman behind the counter that she needed to get into contact with her kids and she tried to use a check to pay, but it was declined. This is when she told the woman behind the counter that somebody had wiped out her bank account and that she also made the comment that somebody was waiting outside for her. But Echo's phone, social media, and her bank account has not had any activity on it since her disappearance. Echo was also taking prescription medication that disappeared as well. So going back to this Josh neighbor guy, he was living with his grandfather. And two weeks after Echo disappeared, his grandfather was found deceased in their basement. He allegedly died of a broken back. And guess what else they found in this basement? Echo's car keys and her prescription medication. They still have never obtained a search warrant for this home. Family believes wholeheartedly that this Josh is responsible for Echo's disappearance. But I don't know if law enforcement is trying to cover something up because they personally have gone to Kelsey and asked her not to go to social media. And at this point, two authorities have turned around and said, we never said that to you. That's not true. There has been points too where she has thought about going to a lawyer, has even discussed with a lawyer if maybe they could help her. But they told her straight up that they're not going to go against law enforcement. And in December of 2022, Kelsey reached back out to the authorities and they let her know that law enforcement is not actively looking for Echo at this point. They said if there is a tip, they will go look into it, but they're not actively searching. Echo is so incredibly loved and missed. And on Kelsey's lives, I give her so many props. As much as she is struggling, of course, with her mother being gone, she is doing everything she can to help try to get her mom some justice. The most help that they're going to get from authorities at this point is hiring a private investigator. So there is a GoFundMe that I will link down below. Please donate anything if you can. There also is a Find Echo Facebook page that I will link down below as well. Foul play is suspected in Echo's case, and a $7,000 reward offered for any information about what happened to Echo or where she is. And her family wholeheartedly believes that Josh did have something to do with it, and that all of his actions and all of this is very suspicious. But the way authorities are almost protecting him is kind of what it seems like to me. Um, it's just so suspicious just feels like there's been so much different evidence that they could be at least a little bit further in this case at this point. If I missed anything or if there's anything you want to add, please comment down below. All I hope is that Echo and his family will get the justice that they deserve. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you'll comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.